Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 512. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 508 to 513. In this trick here, we want to talk about uh, discounts on something you've purchased. Now, sometimes you know, we have a kid's car bed at $279.99. And uh, this is actually something that uh, just happened to me the other day, and I couldn't believe how convoluted all of the uh, discounts could get. And I wanted to calculate it myself to see what the, the total um, discount was. So we started here, and this first in-store sign said $25 off. I said, great. And then I had a coupon for 25% off. And then when I got up to the register, it said sign up for a credit card and get another 10%. Well, it's Toys R Us. I'm just going to you know, sign up and never use the card again. Why not get the 10%? Um, and then finally, there was a refund for part of the shipping, shipping at 45 bucks. So here we're given two discounts with dollars and then some with percents. Well, I went ahead and converted and figured out all the percents. This one's easy. Hey, whatever the discount amount compared to the starting point, the original cost, that'll give us that uh, percentage. The amount paid given just this first discount was uh, the original price minus the dollar discount. And by the way, when you get a, a bunch of discounts like this in a row, it's called a series uh, discount. Individual, 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 together they're a series. All right, well, um, let's go ahead and calculate the dollar amounts for this one. Well, how do I do? Oh, no problem. You say, hey, this actual discount for this uh, single line here times the price, and that'll give us our 63.75. Copy this down. So we subtract those two. This is looking pretty good right now. Oh, I can copy this one down, right? Because that's just taking whatever the price times that 10%. Uh, I can copy this one down one more. Wow, that's looking pretty good. That one's just saying, hey, that minus that. Uh, let's do another calculation here. 45 bucks off the shipping divided by that st uh, starting point right there for the price. Copy it down one more. 127. No way. Um, we could do uh, the percent paid for at each item. This is the actual discount that's associated with that part there. But what's the amount? paid. Simply one minus whatever our um, discount is, right? So each one of those percentage could be multiplied by the preceding uh, cost. So we could get a whole column here like cost times this and then uh, copy it down, right? So you could do it that way. Still, uh, when you get a series of discounts, um, when you're trying to figure out what the total discount is, do not add them up because that doesn't work. What is, um, if we were going to get our net cost here, equals the original starting point times, I'd have loved to gotten a 70% discount. Well, uh, 196, I paid 127. That's not right for multiple reasons. Anyway, here's how you do it. You take, once you get all the per percentages right, you in essence have to simulate this and multiply these. So actually if we do equals product here, product of all these, though that'll give us our actual percent paid. So this will be our percent paid right here. Now if you don't have this over here, you do the complement method because that's in essence what we did here. You say equals open parentheses. 1 minus this percentage times open parentheses 1 minus, and I'm going to highlight that right there and use it again. 1 minus this one, control V, this one, control V, this one. So this is simulating what we did right here. right? And so that's our 45%. That's with a format on top of it. So now our net cost is uh, would be this times 45. And our total amount that we got a uh, discount here really is just one minus this. And that is the kind of discount I like when we are doing frugal bargain hunting. 55% discount from 279.99 to 127.12. Anyway, that's just a little fun with um, discounts. Sometimes you get them as dollars, sometimes you get them as percents and making sense of it all. All right, we'll see you next trick.